Good morning everybody, Mike the Muppet Modeler here. It's a uh, nice, calm Monday morning. Uh, Monday the 3rd of October. Welcome to my channel. And many thanks to all my subscribers, both new and existing. And as you can see today, we're going to do a box review of the Western Lynx Mark 8. Uh, kit number 04981 by Ravel, a level 5, 132nd scale. It says 268 parts. Um, I don't normally build helicopters, but I quite like the look of this one. And I've got a good idea for a diorama, hopefully. Um, if I can make it work when I do it but we shall see uh, just the box art all around on the back you've got some pictures of the different sections uh, colour chart again and some information warnings in or aircraft information in different languages so without any further ado let's have a look and see what's in the box Again, guys, as far as I can remember, I took the decals out so they didn't get ruined. Uh, there's one, two, three, four, five packs of sprues and instruction book. I'll um, we'll do that in a minute. <coughs> Obviously some of the bits in this will be obvious what they are, but I'm sure there's going to be a lot of bits in there that I don't have, have a clue what they are. So um, bear with me, at least you can have a look and see what you get. So in bag number one. Two sprues, really nice surface detail on the tail, guessing that's part of the instrument panel possibly. wires, there's another bit of control panel there bits of motor and rotor Sorry, undercarriage leg possibly more panel I don't know if you can see that, really nice detail on those uh, that's the chin radar tail prop bit black on there don't know what that is or why everything looks nicely moulded though no flash a couple of bits to snip off the ends of that rotor there very nice looking good so far hopefully it'll go together well as well Oops. 
small pack, two sprues in here again. I'm wrong again. Two of the propellers. Nicely done. A lot of smaller bits and bobs. Uh, pilot seat, co pilot seat, both got um, <coughs> molded seat belts in them. But I'm looking to get um, a photo etch set for this, so uh, hopefully they'll have some better seat belts. Uh, rear seats. Smaller parts and slide molded, slide molded pieces there. Some weaponry, wheels and tyres. It looks like back, um, the seats, bottom part of the seats, and. Undercarriage legs, really nice detail again. As I said, guys, I don't know much about helicopters. My favourite helicopter, I think, is the um, was the Wessex. My old man was in the ar in the army, and uh, I got to see a few of them. So I suppose that's where it comes from, really. Third bag, just two sprues in this one. Small one, just some. Cabling maybe, a bit of wire. And then we've got the cockpit floor on the back section, the rear section, flooring. Not sure if that's, oh well, I would think that's the ceiling. There. the tail section well the strut that leads to the tail side door that bit's obviously got to go that way I would think it might be that way there's all very nice detailing on that hopefully you can see it going to come up really nice with paint and weathering that well. Quite a bit in this pack. I think it's got the clear parts in it, amongst the other bits. First of all, the fuse large halves main body Look, plenty of raised detail looks really nice 
nice panel lines. Where I'll put my glasses. Yeah, fuel caps really nicely done, and that will be the the belly of the beast. Really nice detailing going on there. It's the control sticks. Don't know if it's a cyclic one or not. Exhaust. Very nice. Very nice. So the top propeller comes through. Obviously the propeller spindle and everything comes through there and then you'll have the propellers coming off of that. All parts for the motor, for the rotor, motor for the rotor, he's a poet and didn't know it. More detail for the inside. Really, really nice this kit. A little bit of flash there, look. It'll need to be taken off, unless that's meant to be there. But I wouldn't have thought so. But extremely good, extremely nice. Then what have we got? I think that's part of the top housing for the engine and the rotors excuse me, bit of wind uh, machine gun for the side door ammo belts for the machine gun oh, that's an ammunition belt there or rope I think it's an ammunition belt loads and loads of detail looks really smart so look at these clear parts really nice and clean we have frosted on the front there for the panel lines nice and clear nicely bubbled on the side windows really nicely done no no seam line or join lines or anything on them that's beautiful That's the must be by goes by the the feet on the underside up the front of the nose. Really nice, very clear. Very very clear. Very impressed. Very impressed with that. Been all through there. Let's see if I can get it in there. Better. I don't want to do that. 
down the centre. There we forcing bits in and breaking bits off and whatnot. Maybe down the back. Maybe down the back will work. Yep. That works a little bit better. Then we've got... Oh, looks like the repeat of the other one. It is another pack of a couple of sprues, exactly the same as the ones just now, with the main propellers in. There you go, see? Two more seat backs, two propellers, or well, the other two propellers, should I say. More seats. They look like bundled up blankets or something. More seats, I think. Landing gear, the other halves, and Torpedo. Another bomb. So that's that, guys. That's all the sprues taken care of. As I say, I don't know much about helicopters, so well, I don't know much about a lot of things, really. We've got the colour booklet. So if my if my build comes out looking anywhere near as good as that does, I'll be well happy. Well happy. Well, as always with Ravel instructions, tools and things you'll need. Um, explaining what the different symbols mean color call outs not too many colors oh there are loads but some of them are just for a tiny little piece or whatever and you got the sprue call outs one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen sprues in all. And there we go. Straight into the the floor. Drilling these out with a point with a point three mil drill I'm painting the floor in and you got a center console controls for the port side pilot or the pilot controls for the starboard side that must be the instrument panel and the back piece to go with it decals for the instrument panel 
unless obviously what I do is I buy the aftermarket set put the seats together and a couple of little pouches to go on the back it's the rear of the cockpit 0.5 mil drill holes in there installing the seats this is the in sit in the seats for the interior aft of the cockpit small um, box sections probably some sort of storage the roof the inside installing the seats and the equipment putting the roof on then you've got the fuselage section drilling or cutting out a couple of holes there fans turbines the opposite fuselage section and the spindle for the propellers fit in the fuselage top part of the fuselage the rotor cover the rear section or one half of the rear section the other half fit in the two halves and the exhaust mm, I don't know what this bit is possibly the bottom the underneath not really sure I'm sure we'll find out when we come to it. More covers. It's a clear section. Let's go over that part of the engine. In the belly pan underneath towards the rear all different parts and panels covers and things on the underside it's the movable sensor of some sort that goes on the front And you're fitting the radar dome in on the nose. The tail strut, two tail halves, all join the nose together. Side door and window. A control panel, which goes into the roof of the cockpit glass. Uh, the two sides are going to be um, green as per clear green then there's an either or bit here fitting the side doors and installing 
two pieces of glass on the sides of the nose. Dry pilot and co-pilot doors, windscreen wipers, undercarriage legs, wheels, all pretty straightforward. Looks like it goes together nice and easily. Then fits to the wing a wing section. Tail wheel build up. More sensory bits, I believe. Loads and loads of tiny bits on this. They look like clips. Tail rotor. Horizontal stabiliser. Machine gun. Build, build up. Machine gun mount, that be that's um, the stand for the machine gun. And you got some clear parts to go on the underneath and the fin, and then a what looks like a second machine gun. Maybe to go in the other door. Weapon systems. A lot, a lot of work in this. But it's going to, I think it'll look really awesome when it's done. Weapons um, brace. Winch, winch system. Fit in the tail rotor. Aerials underneath the tail. Bit of cotton or sprue or stretch sprue or something there. That's got to fit up in the underside. That's going to be fun. Then you've got the rotor. Housing, the rotor blades, fitting those, attaching it to the final helicopter. And we've got one, two, three, four. Four different. Paint jobs, which all look pretty similar, with the exception of the nose art. Oh, maybe it's just two then. That's the left side, the port side, that's the starboard side, port side starboard side yeah so it's two but there you go guys I'm looking I'll well, just reviewed that I've had it in the stash for a little while but looking at that I'm quite eager to build that now but there you go
we'll see how it goes see what comes next it'll be your guys choice what I do next so if you like that then we'll do that one okay then guys and with that I shall leave it there for now and so thank you to everybody please like the video smash the like button um, give it a thumbs up and I shall see you again in the next one thank you very much and I'll see you soon bye for now